Hi, this is Jean Marie coming at you with another tutorial. And I wanted to do this neutral look that I did over here to this eye over there. And I'm going to use my Elf Beauty Encyclopedia Eye Edition. And I've already took this really creamy base right here. And I've put it all over my eye, all the way up to my lid. And if you can't tell, I've also had, I have also have falsies in them. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut my falsies. Um, I'm going to use scissors like this. I'm going to go ahead and cut um, what I need off these falsies uh, to make a match to others. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I got rid of just a little bit um, because my eyes, yeah, my eyes are short. But okay, I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way. First, I'm going to take a brush that looks like this. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to use this color over here. It's like a peach shade, and I'm going to put that all over my lid, up to my crease. You don't want this too high. Okay. You want a look that looks like that. And next, just because I like to get this part out of the way, I'm going to take the Mark Snow Place to run the black. And the reason I like this is because you build the color up instead of it being like a pop of color. I actually did this first the first time. Because I wanted it to be muted out, so that's what we're going to do is put some more of that color over top of there. And then I'm going to go down on the last one. And the bottom, it's not that dark. It's just like a smoky look. Okay, you want to look that looks like that. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the same brush because I got out of sync. I'm going to take that same color and blend that in to that black. Like that. And all that does is just smoke that color out. You could skip that step. You could do that step in any order if you want it to be darker. You could darken it up. I don't want to. Okay. Next, I'm going to take a crease brush. And I'm going to go and use the chocolatey brown, which is right down here on the main end. Place that and if you don't have this, you can use any colors that you have that are similar to these. Um, again, I use the peachy shade for for my whole lid and um a chocolatey brown for my crease. Okay. And then I'm going to take this brown color over here. That's right above that. It's a lighter brown. I'm going to take some of that on the brush. And then I'm going to blend it in to that. And I'm just using this whole brush to blend those two colors together. And then I'm going to take the lighter shade that's right beside of it. And then I'm going to blend into that. And you should have something that looks like that. 
going to take the same brush and you've seen me do this a million times. I'm going to take it across my hand and then I'm going to go in the white. And I'm going to place it up here just to brighten my brow bone up. And that's what that looks like. Okay. Now I'm going to take it across here again. Okay. I'm going to take the pencil back in. Just this part right here. Just to darken that up just a little. To give the lashes something to sit on. But anyway, I'm going to use my marks to make it big. And I'm going to go ahead and place that up there. And then I'm going to take my lashes and I'm going to do this. And this just curves it to your eyes. You do this right here. And that just makes it be able to see it better on your eyes. Then I'm going to take a Q-tip and put some of that on there, the um, glue. And I'm just using the Duo, Duo Adhesive for Lashes. And I'm going to put some of that on the Q-tip. And I only do this because it's easier. You, um, Every time that I try to squirt it out on the lashes, sometimes um, it gets all over the lashes. And you don't want that. You just want the um, glue on the band. So instead of me putting, yeah, I'm going to take it. And you want it thicker on the edges because that's always the, the part that, what is it, comes off the most or the edges, um, comes off the easiest. So you want to place a pretty thick line all the way across your lashes. And then you want it thicker on the band. You want to take this, I mean, on the edges, you want to take this and make sure that you have a thicker amount on the edge, on both sides, so it don't come up on you. Then you want to wait a few seconds, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw that away. I'm going to go ahead and get this loaded onto here. Just kind of sort of wait for that to dry. And since I'm doing a video, I'm probably not going to let it dry as long as I usually do. Only because, you know, I'm pressed for time on the video. But I could go ahead and tell you what I'm using on my lips. I'm using the Sephora, the, the pink color. Um, the number is R11. It's a Sephora Rouge and it looks like that. And then on my cheeks. I don't think I brought my cheek color in here. No, I don't see it anywhere. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to place this on there. And it's best if you take something like this, like tweezers, and you place them right in the middle. And then you place them right in the middle of your lashes. And then you place them in the middle like that. And then you take your sides down where you want them. For this, I like to use my finger. And if you get lash glue on you, don't worry because this does dry clear when it dries. You want to set this right on top of your lashes. And just let it dry. 
you could go back in with um mascara just to marry your lashes i'm not going to put it all the way through those because i don't want to i put them on there a little bit wetter than i wanted to and sometimes you take it it's easier if you take it like this let me get that glue off there if you take it and you press your lashes with your original lashes like that and these these just secures it more but anyway you wait for it to dry that's what that looks like you can go back in with eyeliner to make it look any way you want i'm not going to do that i want a more neutral look today and as you can see over here that lash glue will dry but anyway i hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Bye.